In this ICT basics video, I'm going to cover the ICT Silver Bullet model, which is a time-based, uh, time-specific model. So let's first start with what time of the day the ICT Silver Bullet um, model occurs. Okay, and then I'll delve into the. I'll, I'll tell you more about the specifics. There are three ICT Silver Bullet. Uh, time windows. The first is from 0300, okay? Now you need to make sure that in the bottom right of your screen here on TradingView that you are on the New York time, okay? Everything here is referenced in New York time, UTC minus four uh, with daylight savings, or you get my point. Uh, th that UTC minus four, it, when daylight savings hits, will change to UTC minus five. So that's why I just say New York local time. The first ICT silver bullet time is from 0300 to 0400, which is known as the ICT London silver bullet. Okay. The second ICT um, silver bullet time is from 1000 New York local time to 1100 New York local time, which is known as the ICT New York AM session silver bullet. The third uh, ICT silver bullet time is from 1400 New York local time to 1500 New York local time which is known as the ICT PM session silver bullet so those are the time frames that right now you should either screenshot my screen or you should uh, write it down or you should get a notepad application in some way shape or form you should write down London silver bullet 0300 to 0400 New York local time London, uh, sorry, New York AM sessions silver bullet 1000 to 1100 New York local time, and then New York PM sessions silver bullet 1400 to 1500 New York local time. In some way, you need to write that information down. Okay, now what is the silver bullet model? Let's go and see if we can find an example of uh, example. Between these three hours, price should trade into uh, a fair value gap that was formed during that hour or prior to or before that hour, and then it should go uh, and seek liquidity. Okay, so what does that mean? From 1000 to 1100, for example, during the New York AM session, price should find a fair value gap on any time frame, preferably kind of five minutes or below, okay, five, four, three, two, one. However, it could be, you know, for example, it could be a 10-minute fair value gap as well. So, you know, you can see that fair value gap is on the 10-minute chart as well. In any event, price should, should either form a fair value gap during that hour and then trade back into it, or it trades into a prior fair value gap and then seeks liquidity. So, pretty simply, guys, here we have a 5-minute fair value gap. Okay. So. inside center. Notice that between the uh, hours of 1000 to 1100 price trades into an old fair value gap from here that, that had been not traded back into. It ends up trading back into it three times and then it goes and seeks, seeks liquidity. Okay, that's a little bit of August trading. We had FOMC minutes on Wednesday so it reclaimed it three, three times. So traded once to it, reclaimed it, reclaimed it. In any event, the silver bullet worked. Now, what is the theory behind the silver bullet? Those three times are when the market is shortly after a stock exchange opens. So the London Stock Exchange creates a, uh, a displacement. The New York uh, Stock Exchange, 30 minutes after basically all of your kind of opening orders, your institutional order flow, your big money has already kind of placed its bets for the day and the market should end up running, usually running against the open, right? Wherever, in whichever direction the open went, usually it's going to end up running against that. Not always, but usually. Um, so the idea is that the market is going on a consistent daily basis during these three time windows. So that is the London Stock Exchange open, the New York Stock Exchange open, the AM session open, and then the PM session open 30 minutes after that like the, the last two hours of trading, the PM session, the afternoon session, that the market should have should trade back into a prior displacement and then go and seek liquidity. 
So let's see if we can find, uh, there's an AM silver bullet example. Let's see if we can find a PM, if we had a PM silver bullet. So on Wednesday, so from 1400 to 1500. So we're looking for price to trade back into an old inefficiency or an old uh, fair value gap and then uh, go and seek liquidity. So again, guys, very simple. There it is. Beautiful silver, honestly, a beautiful silver bullet here. Really, uh, really attractive. Okay, so notice that the market trades back into an old fair value gap and then it goes and seeks liquidity. So that was a PM session silver bullet. Let's see if we can find a London session silver bullet. So from 0300 to 0400. The London silver bullets are not quite as, they're not quite as reliable. You might not find a London silver bullet every time. Okay, I don't see any here immediately on the, the five minute chart. Let's see if we can find it on the one minute chart. Yeah, so you had a couple different options here, but I'll just give you one. So we can see that the market formed a fair value gap during the setup hour, okay? Traded back, so traded away from it, traded back into it, then it went and sought liquidity higher. So that was a London silver bullet from 0300 to 0400. The London Stock Exchange opens at 0300. So you could see the initial volatility from that. So in this ICT basics video, I went over the ICT silver bullet model. And just to recover it again, there are three times of the day, 0300 to 0400, 1000 to 1100, and 1400 to 1500 New York local time. These coincide with the London Stock Exchange open 30 minutes after the New York AM session open and then 30 minutes after the New York PM session open. Okay, the market should trade into uh, a fair value gap that was formed during that hour or prior to that hour and then it should go seek liquidity. That is the silver bullet model in a nutshell. I hope that you found this uh, ICT Basics video useful. Again guys, in this ICT Basics video uh, I covered the uh, ICT silver bullet model. Bye-bye.